Takeoff Initialization Press line select key 4 right to advance to the takeoff init page. Press the next button to move to page 2 of takeoff init. Step 1. Enter the surface winds into the scratch pad and press line select key 2 right to enter wind data into the FMS. Press the next button twice to move to page 4 of takeoff init. Step 2. Press line select key 4 right to confirm takeoff initialization. The takeoff data page automatically displays after takeoff initialization is confirmed. Press the next button to move to page 2 of takeoff data. Takeoff speeds are displayed on this page. Press the FPL button to move to the active flight plan page. Step 3. On the multi-function display, press the far right button under the label V-Speed. This will take you to the V-Speed selections. Step 3. Press the Takeoff Speeds button on the multi-function display unit. Press the same button again to select Auto V-Speed. Selecting Auto will automatically display V-Speeds on the primary flight display. Step 4. Press the FMS button on the Navigation Source Controller to set the FMS as the Navigation Source. The course needle will change from green to magenta. Step 5. Press the screw located on the lower left corner of the Flight Guidance Controller to set the Flight Guidance Mode to Takeoff. HDG for Heading and TO for Takeoff will appear at the top of the PFD. This completes takeoff initialization. The next step will be performed airborne and will be landing initialization.